Hello, my name is Drayson. My name in drag is Sunny D. The D stands for Drag Race. Oh, the bullshit. We just really want to know how big is it. I'm from Puerto Rico, so. Hey. Hey. Wait, wait, wait. No, his dick is big. I know it. I know it's big. I mean, oh God, my heart hurts. Today I'm going to be ranking the runway looks from the first episode of Drag Race Belgique. At number 10, Amanda Tears. So the runway category was the colors of the flag, black, red, and yellow. But the judges were right, this look was giving me more denim blue than it was black. The waffle is kind of the star of the show here and it's not even the colors, it's gold. I like these leggings or fishnets and the hair is punk, so that's cool. Not my favorite look. At number nine, Mocha Bone. I love the hair. I love how sparkly and shifty of the colors are underneath the reveal. I also love the silhouette of the reveal. I love that it was a shorter dress. It was doing it for the culture. Just in comparison to the other looks, it was not as much my favorite. Still looks great though. At number eight, Brittany Von Buttocks. I love this hair and I love the concept she was going with. There's something about her silhouette, like I wish her hips were a bit wider to match her shoulders. With the look, I wish that she didn't have this like choker. Maybe she's covering up a breastplate line, but I feel like it cuts off her neck. I don't know, the floating head is just not my favorite. And her makeup, I feel like if she didn't use such a heavy lower lash, it would be, I don't know, maybe that's just her signature. And number seven, Edna Sorgelson. I think this is really pretty. I think she took the colors of the flag very literally. This is like a deconstructed flag that's just like tailored nicely to her body. This is a great look, but I will say that there were other looks that were more exciting to me, but she still looks good. And number six, Peach. Gorgeous, beautiful, stunning. She looks like a sexy princess. She's another queen that went with the like literal flag, but this is hot. This is fashion. This is regal. I love this. And number five, Susan. This is so fashion. This is so retro. I love this, this pop art. I love that yellow is the main color. And y'all know I love me some shoulder pads. She looks like she could be a villain in the Powerpuff Girls. I love this 90s cartoon aesthetic. I just, oof, so good. And number four, Mademoiselle Boop. Wow, this was a moving art piece. I love this. I like that the dress was a little bit more subtle underneath so that this like avant-garde metal contraption could do all of the the speaking for the outfit. This is great. I don't know. Her mind. Yeah, I'm telling you, I have the mind of a master, master, I have the mind of a mastermind. What's that? I don't know, but you know, I'm so creative like that. <laughs> this was the art that Sasha Valor was talking about. Don't joke about that. At number three, Valenciaga. Wow, this is another look that I could just see walking down like a New York Fashion Week, Paris Fashion Week, all the fashion weeks. I love the textures, I love the colors, I love the concept. I don't love this like long red shoulder, but everything else. At number two, Drag Cohen. Now y'all know I'm a slut for a strappy outfit and this has all the straps. It's giving me entangled in a rubber band ball, sexy fifth element realness. I love this. And at number one, Athena Sorgelekis. Wow, she is the only Mothra, the only Pokemon drag queen on the runway. I love this face piece that she's got. All these super long feathers with all the fur, the leather, this matching hair, everything about this is just so good. Anyways, that was my ranking for the runway looks. Let me know what you guys think. I also ranked the entrance looks, so go watch that if you haven't seen it. Make sure to subscribe, it's for free. Thank you guys for watching, I'll see you guys next time.